The last one, conscience, I get asked about a lot because the question is, what is your real responsibility? And what I'm trying to get at here, what Stephen and I are trying to get at here, is you are more than your job description. What, what could you do that is well beyond your job description? No one would stop you from doing it. If you said you were interested, they'd let you do it. It's well beyond, though, what you feel, your, your bubble you're in. So what's your real responsibility? What could you propose happen that you could do? And I'll read you this quote. It's also in the book. It's from Jim Collins. It says, one notable distinction between wrong people and right people is the former see themselves as having jobs while the latter see themselves as having responsibilities. Every person should be able to respond to the question, what do you do, not with a job title, but with a statement of personal responsibility. That's what we mean by conscience. What is it that I do that really impacts people? And what should I be doing? Now, we've talked about this one a bit, need, looking at my timing here. What is the job that's a win for the organization? One of the things that we've had the most attention from out of this book is proposing that as people prepare for interviews or even write a resume or a cover letter, that they find out as much as they possibly can about that job, about that organization, and link what they think might be a need to what they can do. It's such a different interview. And it has to have a sales component to it, meaning that there's not, there's not ego. I'm not coming in and saying, by the way, I've noticed your organization has X, Y, and Z wrong. You need me. Right? No one's going to hire that. But here's some things I recognized when I looked at, you know, all the news clippings I could find when I did internet research and I saw, you know, some of your customers are thinking X, Y, and Z and I know you have challenges with this. I I'm wondering, are any of those really things that you're looking for? Right? There's some humility there. And the person can say, no, you're an idiot. Right? Or they can say, yeah, we're looking for that. Well, let me tell you what I can do that links up to that. Completely different approach to building a career versus here's who I am, value me. And I think both come into play because social networking, this kind of you know, face to face networking is a little bit of here's who I am and if you ever think of anything that is something like what I am, hopefully you'll think of me, right? There's some of that. There's also I've thought about what you are and here's how I fit. That's what we're looking at with need. Now, um, contribution statement. One of the things that I would strongly propose, if you're really interested in applying some of what I'm talking about today, is that you write down, here's how I would like to contribute in my current role. And you focus on now. Here's how I would like to contribute, based on talents, passion, conscience. And you, you build that integrity muscle by acting according to that every day. Right? I found I'll write things down and then find a couple of weeks later my actions over the last few weeks did not align with that very well. So building that integrity by writing down what I want to be now and linking it up. And then what do I want to be end in mind? So it's a retirement party or it's a tribute as I go on to another role in an organization what do I want people to stand up and say? And how am I going to contribute in that way? Um, I don't know about you. In our organization, we've had people that are feted and massive gifts and emails and celebrations when they retire. And we've had others that everyone's just thinking, oh, thank God. I mean, we couldn't have gone on much longer, right? Which one are you going to be and why? Why? 